Palladium, where magic flows through the air like water. There is a group of individuals known as the Cash Good. They are bandit heroes who are willing to break the rules and take risks in order to do what they believe is right. While their methods may seem unorthodox to some, they are committed to fighting for justice and protecting the innocent. One of the most notorious members of the Cash Good is a man named Marcus. He is a skilled swordsman with a quick wit and a fearless demeanor. Despite his rough exterior, Marcus has a heart of gold and is always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. Marcus's chaotic nature often leads him into dangerous situations, but he thrives in the adrenaline rush of battle. He is a skilled tactician who can quickly assess a situation and come up with a plan of attack. His fellow chaotic good members often rely on his leadership in time of crisis. One day, a powerful sorcerer named Malakar threatens to destroy the peaceful town of Elysium. His dark magic has already caused chaos and destruction in neighboring villages, and people of Elysium fear for their lives. The town's leaders beg Marcus and his fellow chaotic good members to help him defeat Malakar and save their home. Marcus accepts the challenge without hesitation. He knows that Malakar is a dangerous foe, but he is confident in his abilities and the strength of his allies. As they set out to confront the sorcerer, Marcus can feel the tension in the air, but he is unafraid. He knows that they are fighting for a righteous cause, and he will not back down. The battle with Malakar is fierce and intense. The sorcerer unleashes powerful spells and dark creatures to try and overpower Marcus and his allies. But Marcus fights with all his might, his sword slicing through the air like a whirlwind of steel. His fellow chaotic good members fight by his side, their determination unwavering. Despite the odds against them, Marcus and his allies emerge victorious. Malakar is defeated, his dark magic no match for the strength and courage of the chaotic good. The town of Elysium is saved, and people rejoice in their hero's victory. But Marcus knows that their fight is far from over. There are still other villains who threaten peace of Elysium, and he is determined to protect his home at all costs. He rallies his fellow chaotic good members, knowing that they are forced to be reckoned with. As they ride up into the sunset, Marcus reflects on the chaotic nature of their mission. While they may be seen as reckless by some, he knows that their actions are driven by a sense of justice and a desire to do what is right. The chaotic good may be heroic maniacs, but they are also true champions of justice and defenders of the innocent. In Land of Elysium, the chaotic good are celebrated as heroes, their name whispered in awe and admiration. And at the heart of it all is Marcus, the fearless swordsman with a chaotic nature and a heart of gold. He may be a hero, but he is also a maniac in his own right, fighting for justice and standing up for what is right in a world filled with darkness.